Pinheiro about set to get us going. And we are underway here in Charlotte. Taken at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And it certainly had taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap. And the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, they'll burn you. And he'll get this to the 32. Austin Engler is a ball carrier. He was brought down second by and seven. Smith. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 32-yard line. Here's Herbert. And he'll find Everett there, complete. On the move past the 40. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. On the give, this is Eckler. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Not a whole lot there on first and goal. And that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Here's Herbert now on second down. Touchdown, Chargers! Darius Davis, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are on the board here first in the season opener. Now for the point after. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Fights forward at the 20. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year in the NFL now. This week, such an important one for his entire offense, but for him especially. He wants to start this new season off strong. He's got big plans for this year. Wants it to be one where he finishes among the league's best while leading his team to the postseason. A strong opening week is a great start to that and can create momentum that carries over not just to next week, but the next few weeks as well. A rising tide raises all ships, and if he can start this season off strong, his offense will benefit. Meanwhile, young throw going into the hands of Williams. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Young on third down. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Deep to return is Darius Davis. Fielded just inside the 30. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Herbert. And he knocks the ball away. It's incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown. Go back out defense and completely shut them down to force a three and out. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. That throw by Young incomplete. 
Second and ten now from the 27. Looking to throw, Young. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Now here's Young. Now we're behind his man, incomplete. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. At their own 44 yard line. They started on the ground with Eckler. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. Tackle made at his 48 yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Herbert on first down now. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and nine at the 44-yard line. The handoff, it's Eckler. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers, 38. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First down, Los Angeles. Eckler, they run left side, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So their task a little bit more difficult now, second and 13 that they're walking up on. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but maybe circle this play because if they get the stop and hold them to a field goal here, that's a pretty good job. They're already down on the scoreboard. A stop now would be vital for them because it could save them from having to do it multiple times later in the game in order to either get back into it or maybe have a chance to win. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Now third down and seven. A gain of a yard brings up third and seven. Young to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down. First down the They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He was taken down behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two brings up second and 12. At Young now. And this is caught by Williams. He's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 36. Young. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. From the 33, here's second down and seven. Second and seven at the 33-yard line. 
They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll go again with Sanders. He finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Jonathan Mingo, 28 yards. And the Panthers have cut it back within a score. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he returns this to the 22. L.A. readies for its next possession. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Taken down at the 42. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. On third down, here's Eckler. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. The side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. It's second and eight at the 21 yard line. Another run with Sanders. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. This offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Here is Young. The Sanders has got it complete. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Charger defensive unit making their way back out there. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach 
Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Now a give running left as Eckler able to slither by. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And the Chargers first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Up the middle with Eckler. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first and 10 is Spiller. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Show that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. And this one's incomplete. Josh Palmer, the intended target, and now it's second down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting in the ball in the passing game, though, is part of the game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well. Creates a mismatch. You got a couple more. Ah. Back, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. That's a good job there, creating the contact, the forcing completion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And his kick here is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13 7. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw him out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And this is going to be a Panthers first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big hit based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend, I'm sure that he's right. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They just keep trying, but so far, you're finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On third and one, here's Young. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. I gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're gonna throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. 
Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Young. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the touchdown. Miles Sanders, a 15-yard touchdown Brown. And the Panthers are an extra point away now from moving out in front. But not only, Charles, did he beat double coverage to make the catch, and then as soon as he did, locked his gaze upfield and made sure to reach the end zone. Go grab your dictionary, partner. Look up determination, and his picture is going to pop right up. How about him getting through multiple defenders, finding his way through coverage, and making sure he got to the end zone? That's a big-time play right there. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. And this is incomplete. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Here's Herbert. Flush to his right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Second down and eight. Herbert now. A little short pass. This is Everett. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 25-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. On first down, Justin Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Eckler looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds. And he is into Zone touchdown Los Angeles. Xander Horvath punching it in from a yard away. And the Chargers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this a six point game. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. To throw, Young. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And not much happening there as he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage and no more. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. offenses getting it done in the first half both teams had no problems moving the football and you'd have to think the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory okay coach thanks as always this one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three and the half will begin with a touchback now the panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now a second down throw for Young. That's caught by Mingo right side. And out across midfield, down to the 40. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So from Georgia territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now Young. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got it to Williams. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Again, it's Young. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. A gain of three, second down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. 
give. Eckler running to the right. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Meanwhile, Herbert's was throw taken in by Johnston. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 44-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Second and six. Straight ahead, it's Spiller. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First down, Los Angeles. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 28-yard line. Now it's Herbert. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a three-yard touchdown run. And they're able to add on to their advantage. They'll try and run it here. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. A first down throw for Young. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Throwing Young. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 in the first down. They go play action. Young. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Young. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's put down after a very nice game. 
It's a gain of 34. We always talk about the guy that paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job with the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. The play fake, now Young. He's got it complete to Thompson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Second and one now from the 21. They run with Sanders off the option. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Jonah Williams, former first-round pick, the guilty party. Young. And his throw here is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. It'll be Young again. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've got their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. On the ground, it's Thomas. And he's going to ball his way in for a Panther score. Ian Thomas taking it in from a yard out. And the Panthers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And they're within seven now at 28-21. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Austin Eckler in the Charger offense reclaims center stage. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and that's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. Here's Herbert. And complete Spiller out of the backfield. So nothing doing there, and they'll be facing a third and 12. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. The Chargers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third down and 12. Draw play. Spiller. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. And a fair catch signal for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be the Panthers' ball first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive, and not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. From the 24 now, here's second and nine. Here is Young. Williams brings it in. And he's taken down right away at the 39-yard line. Some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and 10. Young now. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. 
On the counter now, it's Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Right side, he has Johnston. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A nine-yard gain on the play. Back to the air. Pass taken in by his big tight end. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Top. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And this will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stack box and continue to move the ball? They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Chargers. Herbert operating from the red zone. They'll find Everett there, complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. To the air again, Herbert. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Palmer. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And Young's throw there incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Second down, Young. 
It's Williams on the catch. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Off the play fake, Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. And he's brought down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Young throwing complete there to Mingo. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. To throw, Young. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And the pressure gets to him again. Here we go. This is fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Now a give running left is Eckler. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. So now Young and the Panthers down by two touchdowns. A minute 45 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Young to throw into the hands of Sanders. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Here's Young. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. Now Young. And that's caught by Williams. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Young. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Another try, second and ten now. It'll be Young again. At the 32-yard line. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And they will get another first down here up near midfield. Throwing, Young. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. That throw by Young incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back.